Greetings and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Fiali and today we return to Alan Wake. I'm still here on this screen because I'm playing it right after I did the last episode and I also don't know if there would be something that interrupts me and doesn't, doesn't give me a chance to say anything. So here we go. Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Yeah, damn it, Alice. She's missing. Alice? behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The this is weak. The lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. That is weird, but I don't remember missing a week. Episode 2, Taken. New York City, 30, 30, 3 years ago. God damn it, I can't fucking read or talk right now, apparently. Am I going to be playing in this era, or is this gonna be just a flashback before we get back to what's going on now? Honey, I'm home. Oh, okay Hi, then. Sweetie. How oh. was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. I wasn't actually expecting to play this. At least not right this second. I thought it was gonna go on to... Oh, uh, there's the coffee maker, so I'm gonna... Wait on that while I explore around. Oh, I can't run in here. I seem to have a nice place, though. Oh, look at the snow. The blizzards. Oh, I love it. I miss that kind of weather so much. So much. Okay. Uh, I really do wish that I could move faster right now. Uh, well, there's a thermos in there. You locked two. Oh, you're not. Wow. Probably gonna have to come and take some of that medicine later or something. Ooh. Ooh. Do we get to maybe bathe with our wife? That would be delightful. Oh, there's another radio. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri state area. People are advised to stay indoors, as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard, and the weather is not expected to clear up anytime soon. Ah. Miss weather. Wow, really? I can come in here, too? Okay. Kind of pointless, but... Okay. Also, why do we have no clothes in our closet? That's just weird. Just weird. Oh! My office. All my glorious books. I uh, return to Cinder and Alex. Well, they all say an Alex Casey thriller. Wonder if that's important. I wonder if I'm going to be running into Alex Casey. Was that the person that we met in like the prologue of the game? I don't fucking remember. Um, what I can't forget: Alex Casey, the things that I want, and the fall of Casey. All right. It's a very interesting trophy I have there. Oh, oh, manuscript page. Really? Oh. I already had one. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. That's not my voice. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Is this one of the actual books that I've written, or is this what's going on uh, within the game to Alan Wake again? This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. 
well. Mr. Wake, you certainly have a way with words. Damn it, stop that. Oh, not what I meant to do. I'm trying to look at this. Ellen Wake, the sudden stop. Oh, that's the, the same cutout that Fangirl had. That phone looks exactly the same as the one that was hey, in. Hey, handsome. Hey. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're going to need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. So that's what it is. She wanted the coffee. It wasn't for me. Alright, so are you like my wife slash publicist? Um, I, I mean, that's fine, but... Oh, we must have just moved in, because there's no TV put up yet. I guess it was all furnished? Well, no, because I have all the stuff in my office and everything. Coffee's on! Great, yeah. thanks! I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow! Aha! I knew it! You wanted the coffee for yourself! Greedy! Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. Okay. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! I'm Alan, right here, baby. Please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. Sure thing, babe. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? Hi. I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid. But it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. What would that have been from? Why would they randomly have that clicker nearby. Oh, I got all fuzzy because they're gonna bang. It's a nice little balcony they have. They seem to be the only people with a balcony. Bright Falls, the present day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Apparently all sorts of fucked up right now, but we're not I'm gonna okay. say that. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Okay. Man, it really sucks not being able to sprint when indoors and at these, I guess... They're not really, like, cinematic, but they are the normal world, I think. Oh, all of a sudden now I can sp Oh, it, 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 well, there's that. Okay. Have you seen this man? Disappeared on 62007. Identifying features. Knack for winning contests. How the hell is that a worthwhile feature to help identify somebody that the police are looking for? Missing Richard Bow, 
Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller, on a camping trip overdue, haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call me. Thank you. Eh, whatever. There's a missing cat as well. Okay, well. Come in, Mr. Wake. Oh, damn Your it. phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. I didn't want to come in here yet. Because I don't know when it's going to... Oh, there's a fuse box here. Does that mean the power's going to go out in here? Shit. Oh, maybe it is a good thing that I'm wanting to check around right now. Mr. That is... Wake? The Alice sheriff was is missing. For you in her I needed down help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, well, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs ah. of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? Probably most of them. Most of them are probably pretty fucking boring. I've lived in a number of small towns, so. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the gray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chain's out. So I wonder if I actually killed him. I mean, I know it all happened in the dark world, or whatever the fuck it is. But I wonder if my actions in the dark world carry over to the real world. Let's check out that uh, Alice sees a Alice shadow. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Well, of course we know cameras let us see ghosts. We've learned that from both Fatal Frame and Dread Out. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. I'm just busy rummaging, rummaging through all of the stuff here at the police station. Totally normal. Pay no attention to it. Your phone, Mr. Wake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? No. I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. Hmm. I need to take this. How do you know? It's an unknown caller. Hello? Is that just an excuse Alice, to leave? Please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's Whoa. a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wade, can I help you with Don't anything? Do nothing stupid, pal. Watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. Okay. I thought he quit drinking for good. Well, I couldn't go anywhere. Oh, God damn it. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's badly. life was he at stake. He shouting like that the moment he woke up. I wanted to go out and look around. Hey, mister. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. Okay, you're weird. Thank you, man, thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it. 
all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. It's okay, like listen. daytime, dude. Listen, Why are you drunk right now? Listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. It only looked like him. You want to know who it really was? I tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien. Okay. I know. Bye bye. Say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. Shut up, drunky. The dark presence in the diner. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain, horrible as it was. The writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. I don't understand any of what that just said. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Thanks for the update because I couldn't remember. I actually really couldn't. Take that. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Was that me? Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this. Every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Anyway. Looks like a lot of. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, okay. Sometimes the focus thing is nice because it'll show you things in the distance, but other times it's just showing you what you already know. Where the hell is the hole in the fence? <gasps> ah! There we go. Man, I have got a powerful fucking kick. Damn. Alice sees a shadow. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the... Oops, I already looked at that one. Wrong one. Wake at Lover's Peak. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak. The waterfall and the mountain behind us. The lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing. Force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? So I'm going to be meeting with somebody who is also fighting the darkness? Is that what's going on? Am I going to get a gun? Am I going to get Alice's a... Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Hmm. Well then. Oh, come on, I can't run again? Shit. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness, the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. 
It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. That's fun. That's weird. Oh. Actually, it looks like this is probably time to call it here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Yeah.